Well, as you know, the summer games have officially kicked off and we're catching up with one of the fierce five honey in today's Beyond the Meadow. We talked to Gabby Douglas and nothing about it is routine. Take a look. <laughs> used to say inspire a generation and that's exactly what Gabby Douglas did at just 16 years old. Gabby was the first African-American to become the individual all-around champion at the 2012 Summer Games in London. As an adrenaline junkie it's no surprise that she took the zest for life and applied it to gymnastics. Gabby Douglas is a three-time gold medalist and she taught us all that there's no I in team. Yes, we're here with American gymnast and gold medalist. Yes, honey. Gabby. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for coming on DBL. <laughs> Gabby. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, oh it, it is our honor. Now, we can't wait to hear about the Unjunk Your Sleep Tour, but first, let's talk Summer Games. You were the first African American let's to win it. An, <laughs> in, yes. You were the first African American to win an individual gold medal. Walk us through that moment at the podium. What was going through your mind because we can all remember what was going through ours. Oh my goodness, it was like a dream come true. It was like a Hollywood ending, like a Disney, you know, a Disney movie where everything, you know, the outcome works, you know, and it was it, being it being it was so successful and honestly, it was just like I literally had a flashback standing up on the podium and I was like all the hard work, the the training, the blood, sweat and tears, like all the adversity, the opposition, all the challenges I had to overcome and face and I just thought like this is my life. Like this is not. This is not even a medal. Like this is my life, and it was just so such a phenomenal feeling. I love that she thinks it's like Bluebirds came in at the end and gave her her the medal. It's a Disney <laughs> ending, Gabby. All right. Now tonight, yes. like right, athletes are participating in the opening ceremonies, and you were there. We want to know what is it like to be there with all the teams. Is it like exhausting or is it super exhilarating? I was never. We were never allowed to actually perform or even engage in the opening ceremonies like because we uh, compete right after that so we honestly had to just be in bed and we could watch a little bit on the TV but we weren't really allowed to participate you know we had to miss the I missed the opening ceremonies twice because I've been so grateful to be a part of both Olympics in 2012 and 2016 but you know we weren't allowed to That's participate. so interesting. So Gabby, earlier this week, gymnast alternate Kara Eaker caught COVID and now she can't compete. So how do you think this will affect the Team USA going forward into the competition? I honestly, I have so much respect and I applaud these, applaud these athletes during this time because it is so hard and so difficult. Not only do you have to train, but also too, like there's a pandemic going on and now you have to social distance and now you have to be careful who you're around, who you touch, what you touch. And then there's a case like this where you can't compete and, you know, as girls and you know as women like this is our dream like this is what we were born to do this is what we put in so much hours into our craft and you know to not be able to do what you love is honestly heartbreaking mm. so disappointing well sis you know we know champions like you are not made overnight so what was a typical training day like for you and can you spill what some of your go-to cheat foods were while competing yes so a day in a life of Gabby Douglas while training was boring, honestly, if I can say. Like the process is the same thing every day because our bodies, like we really need to do the same thing every day and with anything because it's muscle memory and we wanna make sure that when we go out to compete, it is like second nature, it is just like walking. And so every single day, it's the same thing. But my cheat meals would be definitely something carby, like pasta, mm -hmm. pizza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my every meal, Gabby. <laughs> Potatoes, yeah. <laughs> okay, Gabby, with the Tokyo Summer Games roughly 16 hours ahead of the U.S., what impact could that have on athletes oh. and their need to adjust their sleep in order to perform? I know if I don't get any sleep, I can't perform, and I'm not an athlete. So how, <laughs> hey, how can you everyone. unjunk your sleep to help? Because you need to talk about that. Our bodies, our muscles, our minds, like we definitely, definitely need more sleep as human beings because we're not getting enough of it. And I'm so grateful to be here with Mattress Firm to talk about how to unjunk your sleep. And Mattress Firm is actually kicking off its unjunk your sleep tour. They're going to have experts come and teach you how to unjunk your sleep. They're coming to Houston, Detroit, and New York City. So I recommend just going to junksleep.com for more info. Thank you so much for coming on, DBL. Thank you, guys. 
guys so much. You all are so sweet. All the best and have a good day, you guys. She you gets too. a 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yes. She landed. Ten. The dismount. <laughs> Thank guys. you, sis.